said 1961, by the end of this decade, we will send men to the moon and we will return them safely to Earth, not because it is easy, but because it is hard. That was John Scully talking to us here in Dubai with his new venture, OB Mobile, announced in partnership with Jumbo Electronics in the region. This is Varuna with TechView.me and this is Obi Mobile's foray in the Middle East. Steve Jobs' iPhone was a moonshot moment. Another moonshot has occurred. Obi Mobile's held a press and partner event at the Armani Burj here in Dubai and set a stage with Jumbo Electronics to discuss the devices, brand, partnerships and vision. While the event was definitely entertaining, it set a stage for OB to discuss its marketing strategies, the brand, and its many faces. OB wants to be a youth brand and is looking aggressively at that. John Scully made me say yes immediately that we'd be very happy and honored to represent that brand. John has, in the last two days, shared with me his vision of where he sees OB and how he sees it play a significant role in the emerging markets of the world. From the devices, OB Mobiles had announced the availability of three extremely cost-effective phones in the UAE. The OB Octopus is the best-looking and performing device that looks a little bit like the iPhone. The OB Wolverine looks like the Samsung Note and the LG G2 Mix while the OB Falcon is insanely similar to the Oppo N1. Now, OB Mobile is going into one of the most crowded, commoditized industries you can imagine, going into mobile devices. Why would anybody want to go into an industry that is becoming increasingly hard to make a profit in? Even though we have seen Chinese and Indian companies like Zolo and Oppo debuting itself in the UAE, Scully's answer to that is, OB's brand and strong emphasis on marketing. Brand around the aspirations of what the customer experience is. It required innovation and investment and research and development. We are targeting only the emerging markets of the world. And we are targeting specifically young people, the youth of the world, because they are the ones who think about their smartphone as an extension of itself, as an expression of their own personality. It's no longer a phone, it's a cultural instrument. This moonshot is not a moonshot that is created by a single entrepreneur or a single genius, but it's a moonshot that is a wealth of technology that is exponential in growth. It's cloud computing, it's mobility, it's Internet of Things that can be five, ten times better than what already exists. At the same time, we can use these technologies to dramatically reduce the cost of delivery of products and services. And I'll give you an example, OB Mobiles. OB also shed some light on its conscious decision to avoid Android One and opt for Android itself. The latest work done by Google, they employ it product line. Uh, so the good news is that they don't have to invest in anything. The, the bad news is they're not differentiated from one another. So we've chosen not to adopt Google One. Uh, we've chosen, uh, excuse me, Android One. We've chosen to focus on Android because um, we need the ecosystem. Scully also responded positively on his and Steve Jobs' relationship and what he thinks he might think of Obi today. John Scully's new book, Moonshot, has a lot to do with Obi's vision and success strategy. In Silicon Valley, we have an expression that's called moonshot. 
moonshots. Moonshots are events that when they occur, the world is never a same again. Another moonshot has occurred. That was a quick recap of Obi and his foray in the Middle East. What do you guys think? Please comment on the video and please like us to see more of tech happening in the Middle East.